All right, guys, welcome to episode seven of the Camping Corner. Seven, that's crazy. So I'm Mallory back with you and... Hey, I'm Tony. All right, so let's just jump right in. Around the web. So for Around the Web, we have the first one, breakfast is always better at the camp. I have to agree with that completely. No, there's nothing better than waking up at the campground, good cup of coffee, some bacon, scrambled eggs, mm -hmm. hash browns, sausage. Um, I don't know that the neighbors like it when I like just pop over with my plate and fork, but you know, <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm really glad they like to cook. Oh, you do that too? Okay, I'm not the <laughs> only one. All right. So in response, we got a few um, of our Facebook followers that responded to cooking at the campground. So first one, Drew Taylor, kids love to cook. I need to get my kids on that bandwagon to make us breakfast. That, uh, you know, if that's Drew in the background, that is the way that camping is supposed to be. <laughs> Some sort of beverage in your hand, adult beverage, you know, PG rated, anything like that. But somebody else doing the cooking, like the kids, cleaning yeah. up the campground, putting the awning out. That's the way camping is supposed to be. Exactly. We also got a great one from Michael Walters. Uh, showing off his capability to fix bacon, scrambled eggs, and hash browns over an open fire. All at the same time. Absolutely. That's why I said showing off. And the kids back there, uh, she's all bundled up in a blanket, it looks like. I see, is that a bottle of wine on the... Is that a bottle of wine? Maybe they're having mimosas. Maybe. That's necessary. Kind of. Could be some champagne back there. <laughs> Michael, if that's a bottle of wine or a bottle of champagne, will you let us know? We want, we want to know. We want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> All right. So as you guys know, we were at the Boat Sport and Travel Show this last week. So we had a poll up for golf carts versus ATV. So these are the results of those. Which one would you choose? I've got a golf cart. I love my golf cart. Yeah? I think I'd have to go golf cart too. Who wants to fly you? Who wants to fly around the campground in an ATV and jumping over stuff and creating that? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. That might be a great idea. Do you think we could get ATVs at the dealership rather than golf carts? Nathan, we need Ideas. to talk about this. We need to talk about this. <laughs> so, yeah, it looks like the majority of people actually voted golf cart at 67%. Versus the 33%, yeah. Yep. That's awesome. And we got a picture because everybody likes to decorate their, their golf carts. For those of you, if you're not campers, you haven't seen a golf cart parade, it's one of the most incredible things you could ever see. Mm -hmm. uh, Ron Shepard, Ronald Shepard sent in a picture of his golf cart all decorated for the 4th of July. Got all the stuff on it, the American flag, everything like that. Pendants just decked out. I love it. Oh, my favorite. Caption this, John and Jess. This was awesome. So we asked you guys to caption this picture for us. And our top three favorite caption responses were, number one was from Belinda Burden. I've told you guys how to sell campers. Why don't you listen? That's probably very true from John Stout. That's correct. <laughs> is, that, is it Ian or Jan Evinger? Looks like Jan. Jan Evinger. Why are you wearing brown shoes with gray <laughs> pants? Jess, that's just solid advice right there. Fashion police. <laughs> Robert Harris, why aren't you here at the show with us? What could possibly better than me, John, showing you some beautiful coaches? Right? Absolutely. <laughs> so, our next segment, what's the buzz? So this week on What's the Buzz, What's the Buzz, we threw it back a little bit to throw back Thursday video of Old Town Road, which you were a part of this with Tiffany. I hate the song. The video <laughs> was hilarious to do. I hate the song. We had so much fun shooting it. We almost we almost crashed the drone a couple times. I had to drive down the road with a cameraman sitting on the hood of the truck looking in the windshield but i'm supposed to act like i'm driving down the road pulling a camper on, no a distraction. on a public road <laughs> high budget filming i'm telling you there was no you know cut you know the cut would have been in the ditch rolled over 
blood and guts everywhere. <laughs> Rated R. The danger of shooting a video here at Walter Ridge. The, the, the dangers of doing videos, period. <laughs> so we got a great picture coming in. This has been super cool. We love getting these. We had a submission from uh, Instagram handle Untethered West, mm -hmm. who did a renovation on a 2016 Forest River 2861 DS. You can see the pictures here. Absolutely stunning what they did with the inside. It actually looks like it's mostly just paint. Like all the furniture still looks the same color, just some white paint, but it brightened it up a ton, made it look bigger and more open, so that's really cool. And actually on top of this next or this Saturday, we will the 29th, we will be unveiling our RV renovator with Austin. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So next week we'll do an interview with him and kind of a walkthrough of that coach and I'm super excited to see it. It's going to be super cool, guys. Make sure you you tune in for that. I know Austin's super excited about mm -hmm. it. He's even kind of kept it quiet from all of us, so we haven't really seen anything. Just little glimpses of uh, photos here and there, so going to be super cool. Yeah, so now we've got more full-time RVers. So this is Allison and Brian, or Brian, they're triplet parents. So that sounds exciting in itself, and then they're going out full-time in their RV. Um, they said they decide, decided to leave their jobs behind about eight months ago, sell it, and hit the road in what they call their wagon, the 32-foot travel trailer. So they said that they wasn't easy getting pregnant with their, with their trio, but once they were born, they were craving more quality and intentional time with them. So they decided to hit the road and become full-time RVers, and it's a beautiful family. Absolutely. So, yeah. I can't, I can't imagine having triplets. I've got four boys. I can't imagine you. I, I just can't imagine having three. Three kids. I have three kids, but they're not all the same age. So. Well, I've got four, right. but they're not the same age. <laughs> right. They're two, all spread out. Two 22s and down from there, but three the same age. Wow. Kudos to you guys, but I'm glad you're having fun and enjoying the time with the kids. All right, guys, it's time for Gadget Corner. That's right. So this week, hand model, please. Thank you. Just an FYI, our hand model is our wonderful producer. <laughs> and cameraman. He wears many hats. He does. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about surge protectors. So we've got a couple different choices up mm -hmm. here, a couple different options. This one is one and done, which means it installs in the camper. Mm -hmm. This one is a plug, a plug and play type that you plug into the stub out pedestal at the campground mm -hmm. and then plug your camper into it. Both of them will protect against brown outs, rolling blackouts, surge protection from storms and the next door neighbor unplugging or plugging in anything like that just to overall the capability to, to plug into your, your camper. Yeah. You do have, with the plug-in style, you do want to figure out there is a risk of them being stolen in the campground if you're away from, from the camper. So you might wanna buy a bicycle lock or something like that that you can lock it to the pedestal and make sure that I don't have it um, or anybody else doesn't have it. We would appreciate you buying it and I'll use it until it blows up. Yeah, definitely with us, hopefully getting out of winter soon, people are going to start camping, then we've got storm season upon us. So this is a great protection for your coach, for your appliances, everything inside of it. You know, the campground's open in less than a month, mm -hmm. and it's we've got snow now. It's like crazy. Two-hour okay. delay this morning for the kids. Snow's like a bad word. We can't say it right now. You know, but <laughs> at, this, at this point, we're going to be able to camp August 15th, campgrounds be warm enough to camp August 15th. <laughs> See you then. Hand model. So industry news this week, we've got quite a, we've got a few cool topics to talk about. Um, first one being the Elkhart's RV Technical Institute. Let's face it, everybody has found the reality of getting your unit worked on. Like the RV industry, like a lot of other industries, we're short technicians. Mm -hmm. We are short people to actually fix the coaches. 
So the Recreational Vehicle Industrial Association has put a school in place up in Elkhart mm -hmm. to educate technicians and try to bring people in so dealerships have the capability that we can continue to staff RVIA certified technicians and get your coaches out and get them repaired before then. That way, if it is August 15th, by the time we can go camping because of the cold weather, uh, it will be fixed. <laughs> yeah, so this school just opened. First round of students just graduated, I believe. So if it's something that interests you, definitely take a look at it and Absolutely. see what the possibilities are. Very, very cool. Yeah. Our next part of industry news. Baltimore Ravens player uh, Bradley Bozeman uh, who broke out in 2019 is a major part of the dominant offensive line, but there's something that, that a lot of people don't know about him. They wouldn't suspect about the fact that this six foot five inch, 317 pound 2018 draft pick is on a campaign with his wife traveling the country in an RV mm -hmm. and an anti-bullying claim. Yep, all from his childhood when he was bullied as a kid is what stemmed all of this. So really cool, really neat to see them off doing this RV tour and bringing attention to something that a lot of kids struggle with. Absolutely, and it's just a cool thing. Yeah. You know, for us in the RV industry, even people that have the capability to do major things are reaching out to the community and doing it you know with an rv it was uh who was the actor a few years ago that traveled the country in an airstream matthew mcconaughey oh yeah traveled the country in an airstream all right all right all right <laughs> love it <laughs> All right, so something also really cool that we found, we know that the car industry comes out with concept cars, right? Yep. Some of them go into production, some of them don't. Well, it turns out the RV industry isn't any different. That's correct. And yeah. we ran across some really cool ideas. Mm -hmm. One of the ones that I thought was pretty cool was the Sonic X concept uh, from KZ. Mm -hmm. This unit's got a thousand amp hours of off-grid lithium-ion power that you could camp and be green and off the grid and yep. raise fainting goats and <laughs> you and those fainting goats biting ducks or attack ducks or whatever any place that you want. <laughs> oh. The other one that I thought was really neat is because we do we get a lot of people when they come in say that campers aren't camping right we're glamping. So there's one that takes glamping to a whole nother level with helipads, hot tubs, all kinds of really cool things on top of this RV that you would never imagine would be there. So it's a class A motor home with tons of amenities, more than what I've got in my own house. So pretty stinking cool. And it's got a helicopter. I know. The, how long do you think it would take them to go through that train underpass in Hamilton? I think it's Hamilton, Ohio, that has the camera set up that where it scalps everything that goes through there. Mm -hmm. It's like 11 foot tall, and there every day there's box trucks and semis and RVs. Yep. How funny would that be? <laughs> You're following a guy with a helicopter on top of his motorhome. Yeah, and just think how small that helipad is on top of the motorhome. you got to be really good at landing that thing. Well, yeah. <laughs> A couple of the other cool ones, uh, Volks, the little Volkswagen electric van with the surfboard on top of it, mm -hmm. super cool. Surf's up, dude. <laughs> so yeah, this just goes more into how green camping is becoming a bigger thing with solar plant, solar panels, all electric, no gas. So yeah. That's cool. I know. Hey, if you see any of those out on the road or anything cool like that, make sure you send us a picture of it. We'd love to see it. Or send us some of the funny pictures of the stuff that you see out on the road or the, how did they do that? Why did they do that? <laughs> what were they thinking? That's probably the bigger question in some of them. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey guys, I think that brings us to the end of another episode. Yeah, episode seven. In the books. We're having fun. I love this. Absolutely. It's a lot of fun. Hey, we talked to a lot of people at the Boat Sport and Travel Show that have seen the episodes. Uh, it's pretty funny. We, we have a good time, and Mallory and I get recognized, and some 
guy was running across the display going, <laughs> where's Mallory? Where's Mallory? I want to meet Mallory. I just met Tony. So we're not celebrities, you guys. We're just having fun. I mean, who else gets to come to work and have fun and hang out with you guys for 30 minutes or 17 minutes or whatever it boils down to? So <laughs> anyway, guys, that's a wrap. Till next time. We'll see you then. Stay around the campfire. Stay warm, guys. See you, bye.